welcome back to my channel it's your girl star if you're new here if you're not new here welcome back <clears throat> um i know my voice sound really shaky and everything <clears throat> i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'm sick um i'm under the weather so my voice is out <clears throat> And I just been up and down of not feeling my best. <clears throat> so that's why I sound like this. Don't judge me in the comments because it's about that season when you get sick. But <clears throat> to top it off, I'm pregnant and sick. So I don't feel too good. Um, but I really like I I really just got myself out <clears throat> the house. I pushed myself out the house so I can um get some HG, some vitamin. That's an AC. <laughs> I wanted some vitamin C, <clears throat> some sunlight. Um, so that's why I pushed myself out of the house. I look a mess. I just got a puff and a headband. My Jordan the shirt and a jacket. <clears throat> yeah, I really didn't want to come on looking like this, but I was like, we is raw and uncut over here, so y'all gonna see the bad days, good days. I love it. Okay, <clears throat> if you have not already, girl or boy, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, so you know when I post. Um, you don't want to miss anything. <clears throat> um, so yeah, so today, um, we're going to go to. I'm at the movies. Um, I'm about to go watch. <coughs> All right, so back to what I was saying, excuse my voice. As I said, if you feel like you don't wanna watch the video because my voice is not the same, well, you can go ahead and click off and I'll see you in the next video. <clears throat> but, um, I'm trying, okay? Don't bash me in the comments. Give me some tips on what should I take while being pregnant? Because I have like a cold right now being pregnant. <clears throat> and I have looked up and researched that some people take um, some ginger lemon tea. So I'm gonna pick that up today once we leave the movies to go pick some up at Walmart. And I gotta get a few groceries as well. So we're gonna go do that after the movies. So right now we're in the movies. It starts at 3 o'clock. It's 2.43. So we got a couple minutes. And then we're gonna go inside to watch it. <clears throat> so I'm just telling you what we're doing today. Um, I went and did, I went and did an errand already before this, so I just didn't show it, but, um, movies, grocery store to get something for this cold, and then we're gonna go home, and that's gonna be for today. <clears throat> we're gonna try again tomorrow, because tomorrow I gotta go get my nails done, and my toes done as well, and I gotta go see the baby, and we gotta go to like one of these pregnancy classes um after i see her so we're doing that tomorrow um very excited so stay tuned stay around so you can see that if that's what you really came for <laughs> uh so yeah i'm about to let y'all go i'll be back once we get inside the movies and yeah i hope y'all having a great day And also, I wanted to add the reason and the way that I got sick for the people that's pregnant out there is because I slept with a fan on and, you know, it's winter slash um, it's cold outside and the fan, you know, I guess it's when you're pregnant, you can get sick faster. So that's how I got a cold. Uh, I was hot because when you're pregnant, you have hot flashes and you don't want to sleep in the hot. Me, before I get pregnant, <clears throat> before I was pregnant, Y'all, I could not sleep in no hot environment and, you know, and have a successful sleep. Like, no, I like to be cool and cold when I'm asleep. So, I thought I could do the same thing. And they realized, oh, girl, you can't do that because it's cold outside and you got on the fan. So, and I sleep my fan year-round. Let me know in the comments if you do the same thing. So, I've learned being pregnant, you can't do that because it hits you harder. So, that's how I'm sick. And I regret cutting the fan on. So if you get pregnant, if you are pregnant, don't sleep with a fan on if it's cold outside. Don't even do it. I know you like the air and you like to stay cool, 
but it's not really worth it because this is not it and by the way i'm so ready to get my hair done because i'm not feeling my real hair i'm tired of doing my hair too that's another thing being pregnant you don't you ain't gonna want to do your real hair it's draining <laughs> off y'all so anyway i'm gonna see y'all when we get in the movies Okay, so we just got the movies. Um, the movies, the this movie was honestly, <clears throat> if I could be completely honest with y'all, I'll give this movie a four or a five out of ten. I ain't gonna lie, this is for like middle schoolers, um, young adolescents that you know, um, you know, maybe teenagers to come here to see this movie <clears throat> but it, I personally don't think it's for kids and I had a hard time keeping myself up to watch it and I'm an adult <clears throat> so Willy Wonka will rate that a 4 out of 10 definitely wasn't I mean I came during a $5 special but honestly I'm not complaining if I did if I paid more than five dollars to come like maybe the original price I'll be mad but <clears throat> for five dollars I mean this video not sponsored by AMC or Willy Wonka I'm just telling y'all my opinion on it and yeah that's just my opinion so y'all go see it or if you watched it let me know in the comments and let me know what you think about it because that's what I think I don't think it's really really was it. I don't think it was worth it at all. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'll see y'all a bit. In a little bit. In a little bit. That's why I sound crazy. Oh, yeah. So, I'm in, I'm in a store. It's not really packed in here, but it's kind of is packed. I'm gonna get what I need and get out because I don't got time to be running to people today. But yeah, I'm about to get some um, fruits. Okay, so I'm about to get some juice. Cause y'all know being pregnant you have sweets and cravings. So we're gonna go get the tea, the ginger tea, tea <clears throat> for my cold, and then we're gonna head out the store because I'm ready to go. And um, yep. Yeah. Right, so I forgot to tell y'all I made some cookies. They look a little burnt, <laughs> but I promise y'all they're not. It's just the way it looks. It was in the oven a little longer. I like my cookies to be soft and stuff, but you know, it didn't go like that. So yeah, I made some cookies. I'm about to munch on these real quick. I did like a little snack break. And yeah, like when you're pregnant, you have all the cravings, all the munchies, and just know this is gonna be gone in five seconds. Okay. Good morning, guys. Sorry, okay. <clears throat> my voice is still out, okay? So, I'm gonna try my best to talk like I can. Um, so, we're about to go see Baby Girl. And, by the way, it's a girl. I don't know if I told y'all. Um, we're about to go see the baby. Um, I am 26 weeks this week. Um, I'll turn 27 this Saturday. And... So today at this appointment, we're about to go, we're about to go and, um, 
look at some ultrasound stuff and some scans and stuff like that <clears throat> they're gonna talk to me about uh, different like birthing methods I can do um, natural birth itself so we're gonna look at that and stuff oh I might pass the place so yeah we're gonna be talking about that so it's gonna be a pretty good appointment and then a couple more next week I have another appointment as well um because we're gonna be discussing the ultrasound stuff again and <clears throat> they're gonna look at some um tests for that appointment but yeah i'm here so i'm gonna talk to y'all or show y'all when to get in and yeah i'm sorry my voice is out it's the next day um i'm sorry if you feel like you don't want to watch it because my voice is out or you feel like you can still understand me then i appreciate that and <laughs> you're staying but if my voice is annoying and you're like i can't listen to this i'm sorry i am I'm trying the best i can being sick and pregnant is not for the week so i'm drinking me some tea now that I, the one i picked up from yesterday and i'm gonna see how that goes i'm gonna keep y'all updated on that <laughs> with our grandkids so really there's nothing else me and my husband don't do anything for each other for Christmas that'll be fun how about you do y'all Just like they're eating, but it's just um, it's just a motion they go through. Okay. All right, y'all. So I just left the doctor, and everything went good. We saw the baby. Um, <clears throat> we she have gained some weight, <clears throat> and um, she have grown. Um, she's. I think a pound and some ounces now, so that's good. She got a good heartbeat, and yeah, they were just catching me up on stuff like that about her. So everything was good. Um, excuse my voice again, disclaimer, because my voice is out and I'm sick, but I am 23 weeks and five days pregnant, and um, yeah, I don't feel no kicks yet, but she said. <clears throat> that I'll start feeling kicks within a couple weeks of six months. So, I'll let y'all know. I feel better. My throat feels better. Um, my voice is just still out. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to go get my nails on real quick. And then, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and go home. And, um, yeah. Also, we went over some breast feeding, some breast, um, breast on um, birth stuff so like when i get birth like you know put me on game about you know the different percentages the parts of the body um i'll show you the book she gave me um they gave me that <clears throat> and telling me like dilation centimeters and stuff um uh, what else they gave me <clears throat> all right y'all so i just got a nail shop <clears throat> I didn't show y'all the nail shop because y'all know when I go to the nail shop, I always show y'all. So, 
Y'all know how y'all drink it, y'all nail son, and y'all be like, <laughs> prancing your hand around. Yeah. Anyways, um, but yeah, I got an ultrasound. I forgot to tell y'all that earlier. My nails is this color, so cute. Uh, I got like a longer, different shape this time. So yeah. Um, got to show y'all. Um. <clears throat> Now I'm about to go home, drink me some more ginger and lemon tea because your girl need to get better in her throat because no man. But anyways, we're about to go because it's cold outside. And yeah, so this will conclude today's vlog. Uh, I mean, not today's vlog. Yeah, today of this vlog. I will see y'all tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we have an appointment and then we got a breastfeeding class on Zoom we're going to do. So that's going to be exciting. Uh, I'm going to bring y'all along with me. And then before you know it, it'll be time for us to go back to the doctor and get those scans and tests like I told y'all for the baby. <clears throat> and I'll give y'all um, an update on the ginger and lemon. So far the ginger and lemon have been doing good for my throat. Um, my voice is still out, which is fine. It'll sh it should get better over time, but yeah. Good morning. Hey, hey y'all. So, ready to go. As you see, I got my clothes on because I have a doctor appointment today. Um, the doctor appointment is at 150 and it's 112 so right now i'm just chilling i'm about to get ready to eat lunch i need to go ahead and check the weather but yeah so today is not the appointment i'm not really sure what they're gonna be doing today oh uh, y'all i got the cravings this morning look we got some ice cream y'all remember when we went to the store and we got this ice cream some couple days ago yeah so i'm gonna eat me some ice cream i got me some Chinese rice over there that I had last night, and we got some. I'm doing me some chicken tenders with it. It's gonna be busting, okay? <laughs> um, and then I'm about to get me a bottle of water because y'all know when you go to the doctor, they always want you to pee in a cup. So I'm about to prepare myself and drink some water. So when I get there, I'll be good to go and I won't have no trouble peeing in the cup today. So I think we're just doing a regular checkup. I'm gonna show y'all what we do. Maybe ultrasound. He might have to talk to me about some tests maybe. And maybe like, you know, I guess, I don't know what we're doing today. Um, but I know the next visit, we're gonna do glucose tests and which is my first glucose test. And um, some lab work, I think. So, so tests. And I heard bad things about it. Like you can't eat, you're gonna be sick. It's nasty. How is the glucose test for y'all? Let me know in the comments if you already took that and you're past that stage. Because I'm really nervous. I'll take that next time. So, yep, yeah, I'm finna eat some ice cream. About to check this weather, hold on. Oh, it's a little windy outside. Yeah. Anyway, ever since I've been pregnant, my face been like dry and peeling and ashy and like being like very dry. So I don't know what's up with that, but yeah. If y'all got any recommendations, what I can use on my face, let me know in the comments. Cause I really want to know. So this is my stomach. This is my stomach. Um, a lot of people say I'm not big for how much, like how many weeks I am. I'm about to be, I'm 24 weeks, but I'm five, five and a half months. But I don't know. Do y'all think I'm big enough for five and a half months? Or y'all feel like I'm at a right standpoint? Or y'all feel like I should be bigger? Um, Cause I was trying to figure that out because it was really freaking me out because I was like, what do you mean I'm supposed to be big? Certain people are going to be different sizes and certain people, you know, at a different standpoint. The person, you know, but then I've been told that I'm carrying my baby in my, um, 
in my boob area, and I know that's TMI, but that is possible. You can carry your baby in your boob area, area, you know, other parts of your body. Some people carry it in their hips and, you know, their back or whatever, but I think that's what it is for me. I feel like I'm carrying her in other parts of my body, not just my stomach, which is fine. And that's just, the, if that's the case for you, girl, it's fine. Like, we can't control where we carry the baby. So, and then also, uh, people have been telling me, oh, maybe, you know, you're not going to be big because you're your first pregnancy. So, I really don't know, but I'm really, the baby is the pound she's supposed to be. Like, she's pretty chunky baby. Um, and I eat and drink a lot. So, I feel like I'm doing everything I need to do. So, I'm going to let y'all know, like, I got on house shoes. I'm going into my appointment because y'all, my feet been like getting swole and my feet been like very like it been hurting. My feet been hurting and my feet been swelling up and stuff. So your girl about to wear some house shoes to her appointment. It is not no house shoes to where you like, girl, I could tell you got a house shoes. They're like house shoes where you really can't tell I got them on. So I'm wearing them to the doctor because my feet be hurting. I don't even like wearing shoes no more because my feet like get really big now. When you print it, everything tastes and hit different, okay? Oh shoot, I'm dropping ice cream. All right, so we've made it to the doctor. I just pulled up, I'm about to go in, sign in, and then they probably go ahead and tell me to pee in the cup. And then um, I'll just wait on the doctor to call me to the back. Hey. It's all just two different appointments. I want to do one. Yeah, just do a weight loss follow up appointment and a pillow appointment. Address, phone number, insurance, all the same. Uh huh. I'm tripping. Now I gotta go see who I'm thinking about. <laughs> what? What? Aren't you excited for your next visit where you get to drink that drink? They say it's, it's not going to be bad. It's not. It's not bad. I mean, it affects everybody differently. So I ain't going to tell you it ain't going to be nothing. Yeah. Because knowing it's, me, I'll tell you it ain't bad. And then you'll end up hating it. But they say it's like flat soda. It is. It's like a flat Fanta. And when I had to do mine, I was so thirsty that I literally didn't care. I was just happy to be drinking something. That's, like, that's how thirsty I was. Because I know you can't drink or eat right after midnight the night before nothing oh uh, what about the morning of? nothing uh, here's your baby uh -huh. nice strong heartbeat i'm 41 and then she heard the heartbeat i heard baby kicks it and i said no so well, I don't know if I feel it or not, but it feels like. So yeah, I'll just went to the doctor. Looks like Jordan is a beautiful little girl. Yeah. And her AFP was negative. And her bonus test looks good, so Jordan looks like everything's healthy. So they finna see me go get an ultrasound because they want to see her move for some reason. And then they're gonna do my chart and then I'll be done. All right. So good morning, it is a new day. It's a couple weeks later. Today we have the glucose test. 
Oh, we have a doctor's appointment. We got a glucose test. We got the some lab work, an ultrasound, and maybe some more stuff. I really don't know. But I'm gonna try to show y'all what we do today. I'm gonna try to show y'all. If I can't show y'all, I'm gonna come back home and tell y'all how everything went. I haven't ate since last night at eight o'clock. So it's 8 a.m. right now and I'm hungry, okay? So we can, I can't eat nothing for 12, 24 hours. So, um, no, 12 hours. So after 12. Um, so yeah, they said the glucose test nasty. I'm gonna let y'all know, like I said, cause it might not be nasty. I heard it's like a flat soda. So we'll see. But I ain't gonna lie, I didn't sleep good last night. I've been having sleep insomnia. Um, I've been up at night. And then during the day, I'd be so tired. So that's why I look the way I do. But anyways, let's go to the doctor. So we are at months to go, and we are almost at the finish line. Infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. It's cold out here. All right, so I'm at the doctor. I'm in the car. I'm nervous to get out, but I'm about to get out in a minute. And we're about to see what they're about to tell me. Um. So yeah. But I'm gonna tell you this: do not chug that drink. Don't no, chug it. Do okay. not chug it. You will throw it right back up. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so you only take sips. Yeah. All right. That's why we say you have five whole minutes. Take them five minutes, girl. And now, I mean, if you get done in two or three, that's fine. But don't get done in 30 seconds. <laughs> All right. Because I promise it'll come right back up. Okay. Um, what I'm gonna say? So, like, are you gonna put the timer on? All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 9.28. I'll start at 30. Okay, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> really? Okay, so it's a hot juice? Yeah. Okay, it's really sweet juice. Alright. <laughs> well, I'll start. Okay. <laughs> this is not that bad. No, it tastes like, like a flat cranberry yeah. juice. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad. I'm thinking it's worse though. A lot of people are like, oh, it's so nasty. It, yeah, they hype it up like it's terrible and it's really not that bad. Mm -hmm. What's the um, purpose of the juice though? <clears throat> um, glucose. Yeah, it's the test to make sure that you're not like getting gestational diabetes or at risk and things like that for it. So like they give you something that's got a ton of sugar in it mm -hmm. to see how your body tolerates it. Oh. Yeah. So if my body like adult like adapts to it that means then you're fine. Oh, uh, if it don't that means what? Then you'll probably have to do another test, but it's like a three hour GTT test. Like mm -hmm. So you have to do that to the hospital, mm -hmm. and then you may have to get on some kind of medicine to kind of regulate your blood sugar. Mm -hmm. But other than that, it ain't terrible. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just wanting <laughs> the purpose of it. I should shut the door because I'll get this thing.
tell me the seconds. <laughs> no, I'm running seconds now. <laughs> you better hurry up. <laughs> if you go, I'm gonna repeat that. Yeah, I'm gonna repeat that. Yeah, I'm gonna repeat that. Yeah, I'm gonna Have you been feeling bad to move? Good job. You didn't even go a minute over. You think y'all think I'm gonna throw up? Huh? Y'all think I'm gonna throw up? You do? Or do I think you Yeah, will? do you think I'm gonna throw up? I've been saying, like, I don't wanna take a throw up because I'm not redone really that test. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd rather really throw up. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have a button? No. Oh. They're jiggins. I might get you to try and suck it in. All right, so they just came in and measured my belly. Um, and then I just did the 4D um, um, ultrasound thing, this 4D scan. I don't know. But they did that. The glucose test was not bad at all. I don't know why everybody said it was bad. It just tastes like juice. Like, it was fruit punch. My favorite's the fruit punch. So, it wasn't bad at all. Y'all should definitely do it. Y'all should be fine. Um, so, yeah. The drink that they gave you? No. No, okay. You still have a, <laughs> have a bless your heart. Right. Yeah, I'm not quiet. Probably, I probably look tired because I'm hungry and um, tired. I understand. I understand. Trust me. Yeah. Are you good sitting up or you want to lay down? Hmm? Are you good sitting up? Yeah. I'm just not, I'm going to turn my head. That's fine. I'm going to sit this right here that way you can grab it, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry, big stick. One, two, three. All right, I'm going to go with this. There you go. Yeah, um, sometimes if we don't have like a checkout sheet, we just come to the room. And this time I didn't have a checkout sheet, so we just spare anything, do you? Nope. Just got doing blood work. It wasn't bad at all. It's just a little sting, but you know, I'm dramatic. So that's done. Now I just went on the doctor. <laughs> So the doctor just came in and she was basically giving me the insight about the baby's weight and follow up on my blood work, telling me about the glucose test results and they're going to give me results back tomorrow. 
Um, and then she's talking to me about they're gonna see me back in four weeks just to check on some things. And also we was talking about a little bit about labor and delivery, but we have to go in deep details about that at 32 weeks. So it's kind of early. Um, but I'm about to get ready to go now. It's 11 o'clock, I got here at nine. I'm tired, I'm sleepy, and I'm hungry. Cause I haven't had nothing to eat. So, yep, that's it. Um, I'll let y'all know what else she says.